Welcome to our Aero podcast. I'm Dani. I'm here today with Lara Meyer from ITIL Technology. Hi, Lara. Hi, Dani. It is very nice to have you here today. I'm honored to be here today. Today, we're going to take a look at where ITIL Technology comes from. I'd like as well to introduce you a bit more to the wider market here in Switzerland, as you've recently been promoted to VP of Channel EMEA. Now, for our listeners who maybe don't know you yet, a little introduction from you. A couple of words to myself. Mm -hmm. I started one and a half years ago mm -hmm. um, at Agile Technology in um, running distribution for mm -hmm. EMEA. That's where we met already. Correct. And then this year I had the honor to take over on the whole channels team. Mm -hmm. And with that, obviously, resellers. And um, it's an exciting ride, actually. It is. Actually, we're we quite pleased that um, with the collaboration that we have with you guys anyway. And as well, I'm very pleased to actually see how we can deepen the collaboration this year, especially with your promotion. But as well, for our listeners who maybe don't know Agile Technology yet, can you give us a couple of words? Who is, what is Agile Technology? What do you do? I'll give it a very brief one mm -hmm. because um, I like to have everything explained as if I was a three-year-old. Mm -hmm. Not that our listeners are, but um, what do we do? We're, if you look at um, how people work, mm -hmm. um, pretty much everything is now out of a cloud. Yeah, correct. And you need to access it somehow. Mm -hmm. And we're the underlining operating system that actually gives you the secure access to it. Okay. So that's, in a nutshell, that's in a nutshell. Yeah. what um, what Agile does. And that's where the whole idea came from mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. At that time, when um, when Heiko Gloger actually uh, founded the company mm -hmm. under Melchias, there was not so much hardware connected, um, and you do need something where the operating system runs on. It doesn't run just like Correct. that. So they decided at the time to actually bring Agile hardware and software as one. Mm -hmm. And introduce that to the market. So that's where this fin client um, idea comes from, okay. which we actually, over the course of the last years, have detached from, mm -hmm. in order to give partners and customers the broader choice range. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, um, and in November we actually took that. We decoupled it already, yep. but um, and we have developed relationships, deep mm -hmm. relationships with uh, um, independent hardware vendors like Lenovo, mm -hmm. HP, and LG, we wanted to give bright, um, broader mm -hmm. choice. And um, we have developed these relationships, and our operating system runs pretty much on any device. Yeah. Having that said, it mm -hmm. was logical that if we have that broad, broad choice possibility to actually step away and focus on something that is really valuable yep. and that is our platform that mm -hmm. is that's where all the brain power of our developers goes in it's how to actually make cosmos which is now on the market the best solution you can actually have mm -hmm. but why do i actually talk about it it's way better when they hear from your trust from a trusted advisor like arrow who actually sell that stuff. I was just about to say, so Cosmos, obviously a great name <laughs> for a platform. I think for us, it makes it, I think for my sellers, it makes it very easy to actually sell your technology, especially since you have the platform approach. Mm -hmm. As well with whoever you integrate with, like in my business unit, for example, we work with Citrix, we work with Microsoft, we work with AWS. And actually being able to have your solution integrate with those solutions mm -hmm. and actually creating collaborations, it makes it pretty easy for us to actually position this with our partners. I think our partners are constantly looking for innovation and new ways of how to actually serve their end customer. And actually as well to make sure that their end customers always get the best of all worlds. Mm -hmm. There is not two worlds or three worlds, there is many worlds. And I think... For me, I was a bit skeptical, to be honest, when Agile made the decision to actually ditch the entire hardware, knowing that you come from a hardware or being mm -hmm. a hardware provider in the past. 
But seeing the background and actually seeing how we can position it, especially together with our new vendor now, what you just mentioned, LG, I think it makes a big sense to actually go further with that and actually have something unique. And you change in the marketplace, in my opinion, you look unique how it is. Well, we are. And I think, um, and I totally stand behind that um, decision that was taken. It is a hard one, yes, Mm -hmm. if you're the number one fin client vendor to actually step away from hardware. But if we look at how people work or how companies actually operate, it makes perfect sense. I mean, we decoupled the software part of a platform part already because um, you can reuse Mm -hmm. your old devices and actually prolong... um, the um, the lifetime with mm-hmm. that you can reduce the carbon footprint with it so um, sustainability is all over it and with that being a hardware vendor yourself that doesn't really make sense especially if you want to actually collaborate with the likes of LG yeah. which yes you mentioned and I'm glad that you have them in your portfolio mm-hmm. HP or Lenovo mm-hmm. or any other one um, and the partners do that too. So this way they don't have to go with IGEL and, yep. and do that, but they can actually pick and choose from ever, uh, whatever they want. And they have um, one stop, one shop with you anyway. It, it, it's the customer in the end who has the flexibility. Exactly. Right? And if I'm giving the flexibility to a customer in 2023 and beyond, I think is the key to stay current. And I think as well the key to actually move forward. Like yeah. the move to the cloud you've just mentioned and the move away from the hardware. I think this is for you a very exciting time right now. It is. And um, I've actually, when I started with IGEL, the, the whole path was laid out already, right? Um, we had just a coupled. And it was, um, they, they were looking for someone that would take um, distribution through that um, mind change mm-hmm. of selling hardware related to being to a vendor that uh, working with a vendor yeah. actually that is um, that a software or a platform where mm. we're n- we now consider ourselves a platform because Cosmos actually um, has three components to it. So yeah. it's uh, the UMS, mm-hmm. um, it is the cloud services, and it is the operating system. So it's three components that you can actually um, mm-hmm. look at separately if you. But it's still one world. It's still one world. One cosmos. Exactly. Like one cosmos. Exactly. One platform. Nice. Well, what we actually, what I'm very excited is obviously our collaboration in that space and the space that what we actually do to collaborate together. I think one thing is worth mentioning to our listeners today is the Aerotechnify. Oh, yeah. What we actually run together. 14th of July, right? 14th of July. Um, This is the 14th of July. We actually have the topic Cosmos, the platform approach. And what is Technify or Aerotechnify? I think for the listeners which haven't come across, Aerotechnify is what we try to name or build a technical community, not specifically for your brand, but around all of our brands, where across the brands, across the channel, across the partners that we work together, we get technical specialists who can look, talk, and make these solutions come to life for their end customers. Which is perfect. And it's exactly what we were looking for this year anyway. So um, Agile is all about enabling resellers mm-hmm. and um, and listening too. So if you have a community and Technify is going to build a community, mm-hmm. um, you actually get feedback from a market and you get it unfiltered and you, you, you get a better understanding yeah. what are the customer needs, what are the reseller needs. And we are a 100% channel company. Yeah. So um, it is our goal to make it um, exciting again to work mm-hmm. with IGEL. I mean, we have always tried, mm-hmm. um, but with the help of you um, and all sorts of workshops yeah. um, that are going to be aligned to mm-hmm. Technify, or because I'm not a Technify, unfortunately. I mean, I'm not okay. a techie anyway, but... Um, I'm going to be at the Alps Forum, which is also happening, right? Well, the Alps Forum is something that Arrow used to do in the past a lot. Yeah. And it's obviously our collaboration between Arrow Austria and Arrow Switzerland. So we used to run this forum 
and which we now started again. So it it's was always amazing. I mean, I've been there in the past. It was amazing to feel the energy of all the vendors and especially the resellers. The resellers won, but as well the vendors. And I think this year you are there with Citrix. Yes. Which basically just underlines what we were talking before. That makes it very easy for us to actually position your solution in a broader context. Yeah, and right? it actually positions it as a solution then. Exactly. If two vendors actually... So the Alps Forum right. with Arrow in Austria this year? 19th to the 21st, I 19th think, to right? the 21st of September. Exactly. So I really encourage everybody to register. Yeah, definitely. And check out the homepage. This is really something we have to check out. Just quickly back to Technify. Mm -hmm. The dates, what you mentioned before, 14th of July, you said that is one date, but actually with IGEL, there is more dates that we there have. Will so come more, yeah. 14th of July, I think the next one is 15th of September. But as well, what I encourage is to really actually our listeners to go to our homepage and check out Technify, not just for IGEL, but for all the vendors that we are actually collaborate and these with. two events or um, the event series technifies mm -hmm. an event series um, are just the tip of iceberg that yeah. we're do, uh, working together I mean um, with Patrick Steger that you now have in your team exactly. we actually have um, a perfect resource to always reach out to mm -hmm. um, for me <laughs> And for the resellers, yeah. obviously. Um, I'm taking care of the um, resellers mm -hmm. in Switzerland at the moment. Um, so they can always reach out to me. I was just about to uh, say, so any reseller who needs to reach out to yes. IGEL to reach out to you directly, yeah. correct? Meyer at IGEL.com. Wonderful. <laughs> and like you just said, so on my case, Patrick Steger is our new man. Yeah. Especially here to do IGEL. He's been with us for uh, two and a half months now. And he's actually building up the brand within Arrow. All right, Lara. Is it over already? Are it we are we like done? It. Well, it looks like it is too it's too quick, is it? It's way too quick. Could ask for, we could talk for hours. It, definitely, and there's so much to talk about it. But we actually want to listen, so um, we'll we'll continue with that. We'll continue with that. Well, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you for having me.